Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you how you can download some function files, put them into your world save and create a multiplayer sleeping system. This sleeping system is unlike the other ones that I've made before. You can actually tell the system how much percent of players should be in a bed in order to make it go to daytime. Uh, as well as that there's also going to be a pop-up on your screen as well. So in the top right it is going to take advantage of advancements to make a custom pop-up that everyone on the server will see and tells everyone that someone wants to sleep. As well as that it's going to put messages in chat as well. You can see each time someone gets in a bed it tells you how many more players are required to sleep and then when everyone's in the bed we're probably not going to get one more person right because sod's law I'm recording a video but then it will turn the time to daytime hey and there we go one more person joined us in the bed and it is now daytime so on the right hand side of the screen you can see how this is set up. We require 40% of players to be in the bed, that's players that are in the overworld. There are 16 players online and that means we need 6 of them to be sleeping in the bed. So when I pop into here you'll see this number go up on the side. Uh, if I leave that again quickly, another thing I wanted to mention we can do is change that amount of percent. So let's jump it up to... 50% of players now which means we'll require more sleeping in the bed. So I'm going to jump in there and ask the players to sleep. There we go, we now need 7 players to sleep and you can see when other people join their sleeping scores go upwards and eventually um, there will be enough players who have slept in the bed for long enough and then it will make it daytime. I should also mention that like sleeping in a bed in vanilla it will clear the weather, it is gloomy and rainy at the moment and if we go sleep in the bed it will clear the weather. And there we go, from rainy to clear sunny skies here in this gloomy swamp. Just in case you're wondering, yes we are indeed on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. Over my shoulder there, a hilarious prank going on. Uh, this multiplayer sleeping system was developed for this server by Mr. Plagiatus himself, whose name I can never say properly, but you can find a link to his channel in the description box down below, as well as his Twitter and his website. He makes all kinds of cool command block contraptions, including this multiplayer sleeping system. So in the description box there is a link to download this file from my website multiplayersleep.zip You want to extract the contents of that into a folder which creates this one right here and you want to put this advancement and function folders onto your clipboard. Now we're going to drop back to the saves location. This is where my worlds are stored for single player and if you're on a server you'll need to find the world in that server. Um, this one is called msleep, on a server it might be called just world and inside of it you should see all of these files right here. What we want to do is go into the data folder and it's right here that we want to paste the advancements and functions that we uh, put in there just a moment ago. Um, so then if we go and open this up you'll see inside of advancements we now have multiplayer sleep inside of there there are two files. If you don't see those files you haven't put them into the correct place. So going into the other folder which is functions there's the multiplayer sleep folder and then there is all of our functions. So once you put all of those in place you're almost done setting this thing up. So I've logged into our world for demonstrating this. If you're on a server what you probably want to do is run slash reload so you reload all of those functions and then you need to run the install uh, function which is slash function multiplayer sleep and then in it. So we press enter and then it's going to initialize the system. After this point there's just one more thing for you to do which is to set the amount of percent you want for players to be required to sleep. This you'll be able to find in the description box down below just in case you can't read it off of the screen. And that my friends is everything you need to know about setting up the multiplayer sleep system. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have leave a like and be sure to check out the tutorials playlist in the description box down below for more useful videos. Things that may uh, improve your Minecraft experience. Anyway, that is going to be it from me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.